trying to sneak up on Mama Kildare over here. Five beautiful little eggs. I've never seen more than four in a nest, so that is really kind of cool. Welcome to Willow Creek Homestead. Thanks for joining us today. Appreciate your support. I know I say that a lot, but I really do. I appreciate it. It's fun to see spring in bloom. I know a lot of the channels that are back east, they've been gardening and springing for a while now. But here in the Arctic, as I call Idaho, it is beautiful to see some flowers. They got a little sad after our little snowstorm that we had going on. But it's really fun to see everything greening up. This sweet willow that uh, we planted last year is doing super awesome. Leaves are budding and it uh, doesn't look like there's much full damage. I think the cold temperatures and the water, all the flooding and everything has kind of helped with the vole population. It's been a lot less this year than we've seen it the last two years we've been on the property. So that's really kind of cool. Let's check out the calves, see how they're doing. They're super sweet. We're really enjoying them. Enjoy having them with us. It's just fun to care for animals and to uh, enjoy having them. We're still not 100% sure what our end goal is with them, whether we'll raise them up for ourselves or if we'll sell them. But, um, you know, we honestly didn't know if they would even survive, you know, taking on twins, you know, to see how they would do. Bottle calves, I know there's a lot of issue with that. Um, we did a series on the Great Calf Adventure for you new followers. Um, I'll put that in a card above. But um, they've been super fun on the docket this week because we are finally going to get Apollo castrated. Um, we probably waited longer than most do. Is that good? Is that bad? I don't know. Guess we'll see when we go to band him if they're too big. Then we'll have to go to uh, plan B on that scenario. But um, we were just super worried about castrating him um, while he was dealing with scours. Um, we didn't want to cause his body more stress when he was already just fighting to survive. So um, he is doing amazing, so is Apollo. They are on um, two bottles a day, morning and night. They have free choice calf grower pellets and free choice hay in their shack as I call it and they have water in there too. So boy they sure let us know when it's food time. They have some lungs and they sure know how to use them. The chickens continue to escape and have fun with that. We uh, put the chickshaw fence up, as you can see it behind me. We put the chickshaw fence up and the chickshaw, and we got, I think, six or seven birds in there. We just kind of lured them in with treats. Anyway, got them in there and then um, they all escaped. I think we ended up with the rooster, Bernard, and two hens in there with him and it just was kind of dumb. So we went ahead and just let them back out. Um, the plan is to put the new chicks in there, but we really want the chickens to till up and, and work on our garden for us. So that was why we thought, well, with the big hens in there, but they're brats. Um, we probably should trim some wings, but you know, like I said, with Jonah's work schedule, there's just a lot that needs to be done um, and nothing urgent. So it's just all gonna sit on the back burner and that's okay. We are handling things awesomely. The bunnies <laughs> still don't quite know what we're doing there either. Unexpected Easter bunnies that we got. They're doing really well, the two that we have left. Um, I've got them out here in the middle of the yard in the dog kennel so they can chomp on some grass. Missy, I mean it, please. Oh, Emma, we're singing it too. It's annoying. And honestly, I may put them in the horse trailer. Stop it. 
and um, let them live in there and bring them out to to grass. It's just it would give them a little more room and um, it wouldn't stink up the garage. So we're really, really hoping to do a burrow system. Um, just waiting for the time to get it done. So this is our other willow tree. This is the first one we planted, I think the year we moved in. Really, I mean, they just take off. We just really love our willows. Speaking of willows, I have a whole bunch that I'm gonna be taking over to Art and Homesteading, um, another channel that are our friends here in the area. So they should have fun with those. I hope so. We've sent a couple to um, a couple other channels that have requested them too. So it's been kind of fun to share, share the willows. So anyway, the pigs are doing great as I reported yesterday. They've all been out to pasture and I've really enjoyed that. I have had a couple requests for me to talk about my health journey with my different health concerns that I have going on. So I, I'm planning something that I can um, talk about that without boring y'all to death. So um, currently, I mean, I, I reported a few days ago that I was headed to the doctor. Some blood work came back and I guess I've got some elevated red blood cell count or something. So I'm waiting to hear. I might have to go see a hematologist. Anyway, we'll figure me out one of these days, but um, we'll sign off for today. Thanks for joining us and uh, hopefully we'll see you tomorrow.